Adobe Premiere Pro versus Adobe Express isn't just a comparison of two editing tools. It's a decision that could completely change how you create content moving forward. A lot of people assume they need to dive straight into the most advanced software to get professional results, but that's not always the case. And honestly, the difference between the two might surprise you, especially if you're just starting out or trying to work faster without sacrificing quality. Stick around until the end because there's one specific situation where Adobe Express actually beats Premiere Pro and almost no one talks about it. Plus, I'll link you to my full Premiere Pro tutorial for beginners in the description, in case you decide that's the route you want to take. Now, Adobe Premiere Pro is what most people think of when they hear professional video editing. And for good reason, it's used by Hollywood editors, YouTubers, brands, everyone. You get full control, tons of layers, advanced transitions, keyframes, color grading, the works. If you want to make something cinematic or complex, Premiere Pro gives you everything you need. But here's the thing most people won't say. It's not exactly beginner-friendly. It can be overwhelming when you first open it. There are buttons everywhere, timelines stacked like a puzzle, and if you don't already know the workflow, it's easy to feel stuck. That's where Adobe Express comes in. Adobe Express simplifies the entire process. You can create quick videos, social media content, reels, promo clips, all without spending hours learning how to use it. You drag and drop, add text, trim clips, throw in music, and you're done. The learning curve is way easier, and it's honestly perfect if you just want to make content without getting deep into the weeds of editing. But, and this is important, Adobe Express has limitations. It's not made for heavy editing. If you're trying to sync audio, cut multiple camera angles, or do custom animations, it's going to feel a little too simple. That's not a bad thing if your goal is speed and simplicity, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Now, a lot of people ask, why not just start with Premiere Pro if it's more powerful? And the truth is, if you're planning to get into serious video production, Premiere is 100% worth learning. It gives you full creative control. And once you get used to it, and again, my beginner tutorial linked in the description can help, it actually becomes really intuitive. The problem is, most people give up before they get to that point because they expect to just figure it out without any guidance. That's why it's not about Premiere Pro versus Adobe Express being better or worse. It's about what you need right now. If you're just posting on social, making short clips, or you want to get videos out fast without a big learning curve, Adobe Express is incredible. It's lightweight, fast, and way more capable than people give it credit for. But if you're aiming for high-quality storytelling, polished YouTube videos, or anything where precision matters, Premiere Pro is still the gold standard. There's also something satisfying about having full control. Like when you're editing in Premiere and everything just clicks, the timing, the music, the visuals, it feels like you made something. Adobe Express can give you great results, but Premiere gives you ownership of every detail. Now remember what I said at the beginning. There's one place where Adobe Express actually wins, and that's mobile content. If you're editing on the go, using your phone or tablet, Express is faster, easier, and way more optimized for quick edits than Premiere Rush or trying to work around Premiere Pro's desktop setup. That's a game changer if you create content regularly, but don't always want to sit at a computer. So here's the bottom line. Adobe Premiere Pro versus Adobe Express isn't really a battle. It's more like two tools in the same toolbox. One gives you speed and simplicity, the other gives you depth and total control. The Real win is knowing when to use each one. If you're leaning toward Premiere and want to learn how to actually use it step by step without all the confusion, check out the full tutorial I linked in the description. It'll walk you through everything in a way that actually makes sense. But whichever one you go with, just know this, the best software is the one that helps you keep creating. Don't get caught up thinking you need the perfect choice. Just start with what works now and build from there.